Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a quick little video uh, about my uh, X-Tech EX540 millimeter. I purchased it back in September of 2010 and it overall had been a fairly good meter. Um, I originally bought it uh, basically for its, its accuracy and uh, its ability. It wasn't a cheap meter. I paid almost $250 for it uh, and I went to use it to just uh, a couple days ago uh, to measure some resistance for my uh, Arduino ESR shield uh, project and uh, the uh, ohms uh, reading was was hosed on it. It didn't matter what I did um, or what resistor I put in the middle of it, it just it kept reading zero ohms. Um, so anyway I uh, think oh well it uh, there's a box it came in come in a nice little plastic uh, case uh, it has a wireless uh, USB uh, dongle here so you can uh, set your meter up and monitor it uh, remotely on your laptop. I think the range is roughly 30 feet. A rare earth magnet, you can hang it on by the uh, strap. And of course it has a little thermometer probe. But anyway, uh, I, I bought it and uh, it comes with a uh, Manufacturer three-year warranty. That was another uh, big plus that I uh, considered when I was when I was buying it, and uh, it was still in warranty. So I thought I'd go to the website and uh, go ahead and uh, go through the uh, process of getting it sent in and uh, getting it repaired or replaced. And uh, I'll show you what I ran into here on my computer. Uh, you can see here on the uh, X Tech page. Uh, sorry about the. Uh, screenshot through my camera but uh, this is just going to be short on the, on the uh, computer anyway. But If you go to the X-Tech site uh, they have a, uh, a recall page there uh, under their uh, instruments safety recall notices and my 540 was listed in there. It uh, This uh, recall is oh it's a couple years old and evidently it must have uh, they must have recalled these instruments shortly after I purchased mine so anyway, um, I called up X-Tech and uh, told them that I had the EX540 meter. And of course the first thing they asked me was uh, the serial number because there's uh, uh, only a few of the uh, uh, meters that are affected. And the serial numbers start with the 09 through 10X. And of course, well, I had a 10X uh, meter. So um, they, uh, they uh, talked to a gal named Julie there at X-Tech. She gladly uh, sending me out a uh, UPS call tag, so all I have to do is slap the label on uh, my uh, meter, ship it back to them, and as soon as they get the meter, they're going to send me out a, a brand new meter. Uh, no questions asked. So I thought, hey, that's that's pretty cool. Um, but I just want to let you guys know that if you have any of these meters, and you and you maybe you're like me that lived lived under a rock and didn't check the page to see if your meter was recalled, you might want to you might want to take a look at uh, as you can see there. Uh, their, their clamp meters, uh, their, uh, that's a 600 series, the 612, 613, 622, 623, and then the 500 series, the 540, the 542, and the 570 with uh, those uh, serial numbers. I'm going to zoom in on those. You can uh, call them up and uh, they'll replace your meter for free. Uh, they'll even pay for the, the shipping. So uh, I looked on YouTube and I didn't really find any. Uh, much about the X-Tech 500 series meters, especially the 540. So this is uh, what it looks like. It's uh, fairly fairly precise. I think it's a uh, 3.5 percent general uh, uh, accuracy with uh, depending on the range you're in, you know, plus or minus several counts. Um, and uh, I, I generally use mine just as a hobbyist, you know, as, as a bench top uh, multimeter. So I mean, the that accuracy is uh, is plenty uh, good enough for for my uses. Um, and overall, it's it's been a great meter. It has a, the split AC and DC ranges on it, unlike some of the cheaper, uh, like the 50, uh, I think it's a 503, where it just has the one the voltage switch and then the DC and AC is switched by a button, I believe. But uh, it's a 40,000 count meter. Uh, 
And anyway, I'll show you the bolts. I, I don't have any problems with the, the DC action, uh, voltage or the uh, anything else. The, the frequency works. It's just my uh, the, ca the capacitance uh, meter works. But uh, the resistance measurement is, is just hosed on. So here I'll short my probes out. And you can see it goes down to the milliohm resolution and uh, let me just grab a resistor it really doesn't even matter what the value is of it it's going to be kind of hard to do one handed but uh, I'll give her a shot here pardon me for the shakiness of the camera But you can see there, this is a four seven. This is a four hundred. This is a four hundred and seventy ohm uh, resistor, and you can see it's reading zero. And that's why it is with with all of my resistors. It's just really hosed. I hope you guys got a shot of that. Um, so anyway, I guess. Uh, the, the, anyway, back to the recall. Uh, they, they recall these meters due to the fact that uh, they may be, uh, if they fail, they may give you a low voltage when it actually there is a voltage present and it could possibly hurt somebody. Uh, I, if you're interested, you can go on to their uh, website and uh, read the full details about the recall. Uh, let's take a look inside of it. I know uh, they do a lot of reviews. On, on brand new equipment. Well, this one's been in use for oh two and a half years. Never did uh, have much trouble with it before. Then let me set this down for a minute. Okay, and here is a. The gist of it. It's got all those resistors and MOVs smashed there on the, the inputs there. Um, this is the little wireless transmitter here. Let's pop that out. Take a look at it. It has a the processor shielding and you know if anything the the one issue I did have with this meter was it did not like to be around the ballast of uh, my uh, fluorescent lights. I got up here on my workbench, I got a couple overhead fluorescent lights and if I set my meter up there on, on that shelf um, it didn't like to be that close to it, especially on the, uh, the AC voltage range obviously that it picked up a lot of noise um, but I mean, other than that, I mean, I, I really couldn't complain about the meter. Uh, so, a little, uh, all, all the good for the, the wear and tear that's been on it. But uh, anyway, I just want to keep this a, a short little video and uh, hopefully uh, if somebody else has uh, one of these series of meters, uh, a recall that uh, you can get them replaced. Thanks for watching.